Pete's Tools. Pete's Tools. Pete's Tools. Pete's Tools. Pete's Tools. Great to see you here again today. Hey, I don't know if you guys are like me. I mean, I'm a bit sick, you know that by now. But uh, when I first started uh, using gasless wire on, the, on my welder, um, the, flu the old flux core wire, I had issues with a hell of a lot of splatter and it wouldn't really stick with what I was trying to weld and that sort of shit. Anyway guys, the one thing that I learnt that improved my welding of 100% within like about 10 minutes was this little tip here. Now if you've been welding for a long time you'll know this tip anyway, but this is for more my newbie guys. All the newbies like me. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day to me at peachtools.com and uh, let's see what the old git's doing this week, eh? So guys, I bet you've all heard the same thing, positive electrode, negative electrode, AC, DC, gasless, whoa, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I don't know about you, but I didn't understand one little bloody piece of it. So this is what I found out, and uh, this has done me well over the years, and we'll try and put it in the simplest terms as possible. If you're new to um, gasless welding, this is what you need to do. On your machine, this is my old machine, as you can see, my MyTech 250. Um, I normally run this on CO2, but at the moment I'm running it on um, flux core wire. So what you'll find guys, if you're running a machine that's just dedicated to gasless wire, you'll find that you probably won't have these different settings. It should be set up to be um, electrode negative right from the word go. And electrode negative, Pete, what the hell are you talking about? Well, all that simply means is, this lead here on mine is the torch. This is the torch, like this is the power lead for the torch, this one here. The torch comes out here, but this one here is an adjustable lead for the torch. And this one here is my earth. So this is your earth clamp here goes in this one here if you're running a dedicated machine you probably won't have these settings if it's dedicated to run on gasless wire only then you probably only got the one setting but if you can use it like a combination machine like i can run this on gas and gasless you're going to have the two different fittings here so what it basically means is have your welding torch here like so and the wire coming out of it is what they call the electrode the same as when you're arc welding you know what you arc welding and you've you got your electrode stick well that's the electrode obviously but on a, a MIG welder, the electrode is the wire. So what I'm basically saying is that you want the wire negative. And as it's set up normally, the wire coming out of your torch is set up to positive. See that here? And it makes a huge difference, guys, on your welding. Because what, what it does, if you've got your electrode here on positive, all the heat is basically generated on the end of your wire. And it's just going to burn and splatter and spit and do all sorts of horrible stuff. But if you can change that so all the power, instead of it coming from your electrode, from your wire, goes on through your earth clamp like this, then what it is doing is you're heating up the work that you're welding onto and then you're putting the weld on top of it, if you understand what I'm saying. So at the moment, we have electrode positive. So we've got the wire here, which is our electrode for our MIG welder. And at the moment, it is on positive here. So what we need to do is take this out of here and then swap them over. So we put the earth on the positive. So therefore, we're, we're making our workpiece positive and our gun negative. It's as clear as mud, Pete. I'll give you a demo, guys, and I'll just show you the difference that I mean. Like we've got it, we've got it as electrode positive. Okay, so we'll do a bit of welding and I'll show you what that does. And you can tell me that you can't see a difference. So guys, at the moment, we've got the positive charge coming through the electrode through our wire here. We've got the negative coming through our earth clamp here. And we don't even need the gas shield because we're not using gas. So I just take that off so you might be able to see it a little bit better. Remember guys, the easiest way to explain this to newbies is this electrode is like with your arc welding and it's electrode. The wire coming out of your MIG torch is the electrode. So if they say electrode positive, then the electrode positive, you need the positive coming out of here. If they say electrode negative, then you need the negative coming out of here. Anyway, enough bullshit, Pete, do some welding. Yeah! So guys, this is positive electrode. Now you should see a lot of splatter on that. See all the splatter here guys? It's everywhere. Big blobules of splat.
So that's positive electrode, all this crap around here. So now if we go and change it and we put it onto negative electrode, so what we're doing now guys is we're making the, the electrode, the wire negative and we're making the earth clamp positive. So guys this one here is negative electrode. So we just clean them up a little bit there. Can you see the difference guys? This here has got virtually no splatter on it. This one here, this one here is covered in splatter. So it makes a huge difference. It also makes a difference in the power. If I hold my torch in one place, I can burn through this three millimeter plate in no time at all. Now if I change it to the uh, positive electrode, it takes ages to burn through the plate because what it's doing is it's getting more heat through your work rather than through the electrode. Negative electrode again, guys. See, I've been through that. Now I've changed it back to positive electrode again. You watch the amount of splatter and see if it burns through like this one because there's not as much heat. See all the splatter here guys? A little, little splatter here compared to that. But what it's telling us is when your lamp is positive, you're getting more heat on your work, you're getting less heat on your wire. See that guys, all the splatter, all the splatter here, virtually no splatter, virtually no splatter. That's just a difference in changing the polarity makes a huge difference and it makes a huge difference when you're trying to stick shit together as well guys anyway guys hope that wasn't too confusing for you uh, but it is quite simple once you get the hang of it if i can learn it you can learn it my god anyway guys just remember when you flux core welding use your earth as the positive you want your gun as the negative and bob's your wombat you'll be welding in no time it does it makes a really really huge difference I was pushing around for weeks trying to trying to get anything to sort of stick together and then I changed the polarity and there you go. Yeah! Anyway guys, same as usual, like my channel, come say hi down in the comments below if you want. And um, remember to subscribe as well guys, hey? And we'll see you next week. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.